third, fourth, and fifth grade ESL students. It's Mr. Caesar. I'm back with you with some speaking, reading, listening, and writing activities. Alrighty, first things first. Uh, speaking, um, what do you see in this picture? It's a very interesting bird. Um, what are the colors? What are the sounds, shapes, feelings? Um, <clears throat> What is the bird doing in this picture? Do you know, like, what do you see in the background? Like, where is this bird? Why do you think the bird is, is doing it? What is he walking around for? And what do you think the bird will do next? All right, so we have a new story about tigers. And we have a couple of vocabulary words. So we have the word greedy. Um, greedy, you just want, want everything. Um, like, I use this symbol for money a lot. People sometimes say people are greedy for money, um, can be greedy for food, um, is anything that, that, that people want, okay? So greedy. We have blend in, okay? So as you see, this tiger is sitting in um, the woods. Um, they, they like to live in woods. And um, you can see, like, he's sitting in between the trees, so he's kind of blending in, okay? Um, so that so he likes to blend in so that he can get his prey. So that's one of his things. And then a white tiger. So the, the um, tiger in our story is a white tiger. And the white tiger is very, very rare, which means there isn't a lot of them, unfortunately. But he's really, really beautiful. He's all white with the stripes, and he has these beautiful blue piercing, piercing blue eyes. So he's beautiful. All right. So now um, you're going to get your paper and get ready to draw um, the story. All right. And visualize. All right. So it's called the white tiger. The rare white tiger is not safe in his home, the forest of Asia. His fur, white with dark brown stripes, makes it hard for him to blend in with the trees and grass. Some greedy men who can spot the white tiger with ease, shoot him. They sell his soft coat to fur traders. So this is a kind of a sad story, but it's, it's you know, it's something that we need to know about. There are definitely some, you know, some animals in this world that are endangered that, you know, unfortunately humans are, are killing them for their fur or like elephants for their tusks. And we need to stop that because, I mean, we're not going to have these beautiful animals in our world if we don't stop doing this. Okay. So I, um, I forgot to tell you before, um, you could pick stop and jot if you wanted to about what you learned about a white tiger. Um, or you could just do your visual, um, with that, with graphic organizer. So that's up to you. All right. Um, okay, so last time we talked about penguins. We had two stories about penguins. And then I gave you a series of questions about penguins. So the, I was going to give you the answers this time. Okay, the first question is, what is a penguin? Very simple question. And I said, a penguin is a bird that cannot fly. List things that a penguin can do. And I put swim, waddle, catch fish, breathes air, lays eggs, protects their egg, stays away from predators and protect their baby so if you came up with more awesome um anything different you know there's you know not really t too many wrong answers except if you said that if a penguin a penguin flies because penguin doesn't fly but i'm sure there's a lot of things that you know i didn't think of <sighs> describe how a penguin moves I said a penguin has to waddle when they move on land and in the water they fly. And I put fly in quotation marks because they're not really flying, but they look like they're flying in the water because they move so fast. Explain how a penguin takes care of their egg. And I said the boy penguin uses his butt to sit on, oh, should be the egg, sorry, and keep it warm. He protects that egg until it hatches. Then the girl penguin feeds the baby. At five months, the baby can go off on its own. Why does a penguin move so fast in the water? And I inferred that the penguin moves fast in the water so it can catch fish and shrimp. That's what it loves to eat. And then um, I asked you to compare and contrast, and I asked you to pick a an animal. You could you could have picked a cat. That was fine. Um, but I said they both eat fish. They both like it. They move move quickly to catch their prey, and they take care of their young. And then I said the cat is different because it has fur. 
and a penguin has feathers. Number two, hate swimming. Penguins love swimming. Three, doesn't like the cold. Cats really don't like to be cold. They like to be nice and warm. And three, can live in the cold. They live in Antarctica. Some of them, they have African penguins that can live in the warmer climate, but they can live in the cold. And then I said last, have four legs. And a penguin has two legs. Okay? So those are the things I wrote. All right, listening activity. All right, so what I want you to do is to take your piece of paper and you can just draw, you don't have to draw it exactly like the picture that I have. Um, just draw a boy. It needs to be a boy for the directions. And um, you can put on a little raincoat on him and his boots, okay? And then um, after you're done with that, you can unpause the video and listen to me again. So first one, draw an umbrella in the boy's hand. Draw a water puddle in the bottom right corner. Draw a frog in the water puddle. Draw a cloud in the upper right corner. Draw 10 raindrops under the cloud. Draw two ducks in the lower right corner. Draw a sun in the upper left corner. Color the picture. Okay, and then write a sentence about the picture. That should be fairly easy for you since you're second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Okay, I really just want you to practice listening to my voice and drawing. So um, you don't have to write a sentence. Okay, because now we're going to go into, oops, go into writing. Okay, um, I just, my um, prompt for today is imagine you are told you can invite anyone in the world to dinner. This could be someone famous, someone from the past, or even someone important in your life. Who would you invite? Okay, write a paragraph explaining who you would invite and why. Fourth and fifth grade, I want you to stretch yourself and write two paragraphs. Second and third, just write that perfect paragraph for me. Um, so anyone you can invite. Okay. All right, last but not least, Granny's Candies. Um, so last time we had these three pictures and I said, what do these have in common? And I, I gave two answers. Okay. They all have wheels. A plane does have wheels in the picture. The wheels are up inside the plane. So you can't see it, but when it lands, um, the wheels come out. Um, and then I said, they take people places what was the other one. And here we go, another one. What do these have in common? Bathroom, kitchen, and bedroom. And since we've spent a lot of time in these rooms lately, since we're in our house, maybe this is probably going to be an easy one for you. All right, I will see you next time. Have a good day.